Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. I'm excited to share with you a fuchsia today. And we're using our reusable teaching guide where we're gonna practice on and we are going to use folk art multi-surface paint. So let's talk about the colors that we're gonna to use today. We have a magenta, a wicker white, and a violet pansy, which is really pretty in this flower. We have citrus green and sap green. Now what we're gonna do is uh, practice on here and then paint on our project. So we're gonna turn this around. We're gonna paint on it, wipe off with a baby wipe or a wet paper towel. And then I'm gonna do the things that we do first on our painting. So that would be our vines first. So let's practice with those. And it says right here what, what you're gonna be using as far as brush and paint. And so we're gonna load first with a number 12 flat and we've wet it, we've dried it on the paper towel, and we're splitting our brush and our double loader to pick up two colors, and then we're gonna work it in. And those colors are sap green and citrus green. So we need a light and a dark, and we're double loading, so half on half of each color, so we might wanna pick up a little bit more till we get a nice load on here. And, and you can even just go like this to see if you're gonna have the color that you want. Now, the first thing we do is we put on the vines and see where the arrows show. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch on the chisel. I'm gonna lift the citrus just a little bit. So those dark green bristles from the sap are going to, sap green are going to be mostly what you see. Then I'm gonna come on top of here and do another one and another one. And I steady my finger. See my little finger is helping me steady on those. Now you need to practice that um, a few times on here to make sure you're getting it thin. And then you could try it on paper uh, to see if it's getting that smooth, thin line because we don't want to branch. We just want um, a nice fine line that these are little uh, vines that are holding or stems that are holding your flower. So on here, we're doing a slider leaf and there's a couple different slider leaves, um, a long one and a short one. So we touch, pressure, slide and lift. Touch, pressure, slide, long and lift. Okay, so there we go. So let's wipe this off and we're ready to go. So let's come right here and see how this vine's gonna go on here. So they trail over and the flowers, the fuchsia hangs from the vine. So let's put this on there first. Okay, and at this point you can pick up just a touch of floating medium, work it in, especially if you're not sure what surface. This is a pretty nice smooth surface, but see I'm slightly lifting the citrus green. Then I'm going to come here and I'm going to go over here and fall down over here and let it drape down and here. So all those flowers are going to hang along there and make a really pretty look. Okay. Now to put some of the green leaves on here, we can do those now or a little bit later, but I might pick up a touch of white occasionally if you want to. And then we're gonna start here on the vine, put pressure and lift. Okay, see how easy that is? Now I'm gonna come here and maybe do some longer ones. I told you there's a long slider leaf. See how you blend shade and highlight in one stroke? All right, I love doing these with wisteria and with vining plants like this, the fuchsia, 
these long slender leaves look really good. Having that, see if you don't like something, you just restroke over it. Okay, now we have some curly cues in there, which I just want to share with you how simple they are because I don't have a practice here, but if you've done some of my other flowers, we have practiced on the sheet. Let me show you what we do, okay? So you take this, you're making circles, and then you're pulling away from the vine. So here, if you don't pull away, your little finger will go right back over it. Or if you're not comfortable with that, you can just do a windy little vine, and then we do like that, okay? Now that's with your two script liner. We also can use that to go around the little teeny buds that we're gonna put on here. And I wanna show you, see, I've got a couple of buds here, and then I just had the three fuchsia, and we use the green stems to pull the stamens out of the center. So I love the way this flower looks, so I had to work on it to figure out how to make simple steps so that all of us could make it happen. So look, I'm gonna take, I've dried this, clean brush. I'm going to split this brush. You notice in my double loader, I put the pink next to the white, the magenta next to the white, and the violet pansy next to the white. So we can use a white for both flowers, parts of the flower. Okay, so now try it out. There we go. Now I want you to see here that this is the same as a leaf, but we're going to push and we come up to a point. And the thing that's wonderful is if you practice enough leaves, sunflower petals or these kind of petals, then you could do your leaf easy. All right, so I'm going to put the first stroke there, a second stroke. So it's just practicing this one stroke. That's going to make a really, I call it the one stroke leaf. It's a one stroke petal. See that? And make sure you see the shades in there. You need to get all those good shades in there. Instead of making this, make sure it right here it doesn't become one color. All right, so you can see here also while I've got this color, I'm going to show you that you put two strokes to get most buds. All right, so I can do one. I can flip the brush over and do two. So it looks like a bud that's going to pop open. So let's wash this brush. You'll be surprised how easy this is. You're going to pick up the wicker white and the violet pansy. Again, fast, quick pressure. I got a little bit too much. Then you pick up some that you just want to flatten on the surface. Okay, so this is what's going to happen here. I want you to push down like halfway on the brush. And then I want to wiggle back and forth to kind of make a ruffle. Okay. Now that's the back ruffle. Now this is what we do. We put that to the side. Can you see there's the back ruffle? Then we're going to come in here with these stems. See these? They're pulled out. So they're up inside here. Now most people paint these afterwards and make it fit in there. But I like to paint them first so that they look like they're actually inside because they are. All right, so now I'm going to come right here on top. And I need more purple here. See how I'm coming right here on top and I meet that back. So if you're here, you're going to come just like that and make sure that it ends up. We do that again. If you don't like something you've done, you just restroke over it, usually with fresh paint. There you go. So it's the back petal, the front petal, and then we just put a touch of magenta and we make this little drop on the end of each of those. Not like that. <laughs> I'm like this first two. Okay. So this takes just a little bit of practice and then you're ready to add them to your piece. So Practice makes perfect, right? On top of my strokes, you'll have my strokes right at home with you. 
And we're always saying it's like having the teacher right there at your table with you. Okay, now let's put this to the side and put it right here though so we don't forget the strokes that you just learned. Now I have to wash out the violet pansy. Okay, and we're gonna go back to pick up the magenta and wicker white. Back and forth. Okay, so now I can come back and do additional stems afterwards, but what we're gonna do is start here at the stem that I thought I might use. So we've got three, and then I want to add just a few more strokes. And this is actually how they look on the vine, so it's kind of cool. I'm going to put a bud that's not opening yet. Okay, clean the brush. Let's pick up the Violet Pansy and Wicker White. Okay, you need to have enough Violet Pansy and a touch of white. Okay, so now this is going to come right here on each one of these. or stems or stamens. Okay, so let's pick up fresh paint again, flatten it, and try to keep your purple right there, okay? So I'm gonna touch that edge and we're painting wet on wet, and it works perfect if you put enough paint on your brush. Okay, I'm going to pick up with a clean brush, put a little box. So I'm going to pick up a green on the two script liner. I use both citrus and sap. All right, now what I like to do when I can is come in here and add another stem that attaches, All right? So it looks like it's right off that stem. And then here. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.